you connect this spark plug non-fouler to your downstream oxygen sensor, which is right there, most likely you're not gonna be able to pass a visual inspection for your state's emissions requirement. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys what I learned from a smog technician many years ago and a little trick that his customers were doing to go ahead and pass, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Random Fix, and what I'm about to show you guys today is a little trick that I learned from a smog technician in California. His customers were doing this to him, so he shared it with me one day as he was not doing anything illegal. It was actually the customers. This video is for informational purposes only, so make sure you always follow local state and federal laws and always use your own judgment so what the customers would do is they would actually install one of these spark plug non fowlers and this is the style that you want not this style you want this style this 90 degree bend another thing that's really nice about these 90 degree spark plug non fowlers is the way you can actually assemble them and put them together so you can use them in several different ways especially if you have a firewall or something in your way this is going to make your job a lot easier versus this where this just extends it out that is definitely a lot of space not all vehicles have this much clearance this is a much better choice and to make your installation and removal in the future a lot easier try putting a little bit of this copper anti-seize on the thread of the oxygen sensor and unless you have a lot of cred build up on your oxygen sensor I normally don't recommend cleaning these as the probe is actually on the inside. If you do want to try to clean it, the best cleaner out there is going to be oven cleaner. Just go ahead and spray some on here and wipe it off. And always be sure to wear gloves. And once the customers went ahead and added this to their vehicle, got all their inspection monitors ready, they would go the next morning before the test and remove this. And once they removed it, they would start the vehicle one time. They would not turn it off again. And they would not disconnect the battery or anything else. They would just remove this from the downstream oxygen sensor, put the oxygen sensor back in, and go get the vehicle tested. This works for 99% of vehicles. And on these newer vehicles, the check engine light is so sensitive that if you have a decrease in 4% in efficiency, that that check engine light will turn on for P420 code. So when you use something like a spark plug non-fowler, it tricks the computer into thinking that the catalytic converter is actually doing its job of keeping the emissions clean. I'll leave you guys links to anything that I talk about in the video description box down below. And make sure if you are doing this, you use an oxygen sensor removal tool like this, as, as you do not want to damage these wires. And just take your time and make sure that that smog station is open that morning, that you go remove this. And I have a whole bunch of videos on how to set your inspection monitors really quickly. You guys will find that in the video description box down below. Thank you so much. If I left anything out of the video that you think is important, please comment down below and make it a great day.